So in this video, we're going to learn how to use the cinematic uh, camera and how to uh, to use photography basically and do some screenshots, which is the goal of our whole exercise is to get some nice shots. Um, you could inform students on how to get those shots in different ways. We're going to focus on the actor, uh, but you could get various scenes to uh, have students demonstrate what they created. And I mean, this is up to you. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I want to remind you of the hotkey, which is G to turn out, turn off uh, anything that's in the scene. So make sure you select your viewport. So you see it's selected right now. And I'm going to go uh, G, turns off all the things. And I'm going to drag the camera in. Okay. And you can see what my camera sees right now. If I move this, it'll move up. If I move this around you. And that is one way to move it around. And I don't usually like that one very much. And if you look here, I'm just going to go Alt. You can see that I'm pointing at this rock, I think. So if we press the G key, you're going to see um, where the camera is actually pointing. So if we go W, we can point it. towards the actor okay but there's a much easier way to do that so press the G key and what you can do is under perspective um, I got two characters here. I'm gonna delete one I don't I don't need to so I'll go here bring that one in and what I want to do is enable this and right now it's enabled but I also need to currently I'm still seeing the default viewport so what we want to see is what it looks like through the camera lens now uh, i played around with the settings a little bit here so uh, most uh now this is a cinematic view which is what i, I was uh, going for and uh, what you should do is review camera uh, you know depth of field aperture f-stops iso uh, if you're doing this with me in class you're going to have a questionnaire uh, allowing you to go and develop that before we go and do this okay so uh the camera is right here and we're currently in it and uh, this works like a real camera and in fact uh, it's a lot better than a real camera because you can easily change the lens and make the camera work really powerfully without paying a cent which is one of the things i really like about unreal you can also enable uh some composition tools which i really like the rule of thirds uh, so this won't show up in what you film, but it is there to uh, allow you to move around. So how do you move around in the camera? Let's start with that. Well, using our WASD keys plus Q and E. So if we use the uh, left mouse button and Q, it'll go down and use the E key. Now, if it's moving too quickly or too slowly, I want to remind you that, you know, I usually have this on four, but when I'm using the camera, I usually put it on one or two. Okay, that way I can get the kind of shot that I'm looking for. All right, so let's, uh, before we get and start taking shots, let's actually uh, click again on the camera actor and let's have a look at some of the camera settings that we do have in here. All right, so we have the digital film uh, 16 by 9, but I've actually uh, created a custom look here, I think. Um, so let's just click on. 16 by 9 DSLR and let's just double check here if I have this actually oh, there you go that's the look that I'm filming guys okay, so you got to make sure you have that here so how did I make sure of that we got the camera selected here and the viewport is showing me exactly what the camera sees so that's a, so what I want to do is I'm going to just have a quick look at the, the settings uh, one of the things that I, I like to play around with is in focus setting and usually it's uh, on manual. If you're filming and you're a beginner, which we're not going to do, but you could go to none. And manual, uh, this feature right here, I really like. So you can click on it. And what it basically does is it shows you what's in most in focus. Now, one of the things that's maybe a little misleading is because this is a low poly actor and their background is a lot more detail. So it could trick us. So one of the ways to, you know, if, if I clicked on that debug feature and it was like this, this is saying that this is in focus and the rest is, a, is, is kind of starting to be less in focus. 
So what I can do is click on that debug feature and uh, whoops, I have to be on the uh, cinema camera actor and I'll click on that and click on so click on something in the back here. And now the, okay, the actor is in focus. So I'm ready to take on my first uh, shot. So what I'm going to do is turn that off and I could still uh, move it a little bit if I want to, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. So uh, what I'm going to do is press F9. And when you press F9, it screenshots them and puts them in a folder. So here's uh, my first shot. So here's where you would invite your student to go and take several photos around the scene. Uh, maybe uh, some of them backing up and taking another shot and, uh, you know, going down with the uh, e oh, the Q key. And let's take another shot, F9. And again, it's, you don't need to look at him every time, but uh, you get a sense of, of what he or she is doing. And then let's go this way and let's take another shot, F9. And you see we're using the rule of thirds and trying to pretty much have the head of our character like that. Now, Alt is your friend, if you recall. So we could go like this and take some shots from different angles. Let's go um, like this. And remember, we have uh, the pilot active here in order to press F9. And if you're not sure, you can just click here and you can see your two viewports are the correct ones. And uh, press F9. And let's go and have a look at this one just for fun. So as you can see, I uh, I thought that would happen. So you got to make sure nothing is selected in the scene. And let's fix that. So press the G key. Turn off the G. So make sure nothing is selected in your scene. Press F9. Then take your shot. Okay, so that's pretty important, obviously. And you can keep going. Maybe you want a shot from really far away, F9. Maybe you want shots of the trees to demonstrate, you know, the foliage that they put in there. So I'll press F9 again. And let's see, let's go out even more. F9. So we're getting long shots uh, of our scene. And maybe we want to zoom back in there and get shots from different angles. So we're going to go Alt is our friend, and we're going to go like this. That's a cool shot, F9. And now what mistake did I made? I forgot to unclick that, so let's redo that one, F9. And maybe we want one of the Archer looking like that, F9. And maybe we want one of our over the shoulder. So we're going to move in. We definitely don't want to have that stare. Well, showing its error. Let's press F9. And again, we have to unselect the trees there. F9. Alt. Again, unselect the trees. F9. So we have quite a few photos. Um, you know, you could also play around in here. Uh, and uh, I think I'll do that in another video. So these are uh, pretty much the shots that you would need for your student to tell the story and show the work. Maybe uh, have them focus on different scenes, some of the rocks that they did, some of the materials that they've done, some of the trees. And you can always, of course, press play to see how things look. And it looks pretty cool. Uh, we're not going to do sequencer for now. Uh, I think this, this is a, uh, probably uh, good enough for, for most beginners. If I press F9, it won't take a screenshot here. So you would have to uh, rebuild light. And uh, I guess since we're on that, if uh, ever this happens and you want to know how do you build lights, you go here and you just go uh, Control Shift, just press Enter here. Okay.